This edition of PewterPirates.com brought to you by House of Brews Tavern and Grill. More than beer, House of Brews gives you great food and always great fun. And speaking of food and fun, we'd like to thank our co-title sponsor, Sea Dog Brewing Company. It's Clearwater location and it's Treasure Island Brewery by the Beach boasts the exclusive combo of giving its patrons a New England brewery complemented by a golf-inspired menu. Yes, we like to give thanks to our title sponsors, and we'd like to thank you for logging on to pewterpirates.com. Well, I'm Mike Neighbors, and we're going to give you Arians the sequel. Yeah, our last show, we profiled Bruce Arians in his opening press conference. This time, we profile the men who know him the best. That would be his assistant coaches. Here is your menu. Of course, leading the way, brand-new defensive coordinator Todd Bowles. He talks about his longtime relationship with Bruce Arians, and he also talks about whether he will employ the 3-4 or the 4-3 scheme. We'll also bring back Bruce Arians to compare Jameis Winston to his all-star cast of quarterbacks he coached before touchdowning here in Tampa Bay. It's Arians' the sequel here on PewterPirates.com. Yes, welcome into Arians, the sequel here on PewterPirates.com. Of course, the original we heard exclusively from Bruce Arians. This time around, we're going to hear from the men who know him the best, his staff. And when you hear from those guys, you really get to know Bruce Arians better and you like him better. Here's some nuggets from what his assistants had to say. He doesn't like ties, not a big dress code guy, likes to send emojis, is a father figure. And one assistant said... He is the real deal. That assistant would be his brand new defensive coordinator, Todd Bowles. He's known Arians the longest and at one point was on record saying he would lose his left arm for Arians. And Bowles is left handed. I asked him about that statement and his relationship at his opening press conference. Well, it was a joke, first of all, but <laughs> I'm not going to lose my left arm for Bruce. Um, just from him coaching me in college to us coaching together before in Cleveland. Uh, to go into Arizona and the trust and the relationship we developed from that standpoint and the knowledge from a football standpoint that I gained from him and the things I've learned from working with him and working under him as a player when we were back in school, you know, it, it's been a good setup for me and it, it's been great knowledge for me and he's helped me a great deal. Now Bowles is ready to take over a Buccaneer defense that struggled mightily last season, especially early on under Mike Smith. He didn't really want to talk about personnel, but what about scheme? Now traditionally Todd Bowles likes the 3-4, but this team is kind of built around that 4-3. For Bowles, it really doesn't seem to matter. Well, I've coached half my career in the 4-3 and the other half in the 3-4. I think you coach according to what kind of players you have and what type of guys you can put where. So we want to be versatile regardless. As I watch the tape and watch the film, we'll morph into one of those things, if not both of them, but we need to be versatile regardless. Todd Bowles, very stoic even in his first press conference here at One Buck Place. Now, this is Arians Part 2, so we're not going to leave out Bruce Arians. Coming up next, we're going to have the new Bucks head coach compare his future quarterback, Jameis Winston, to all the great quarterbacks he's coached in his previous NFL stops. That and more after this. There are a lot of neighborhood bars, but there is only one. And how so? It's now better than ever. Freshly remodeled with a new U-shaped bar, where it's clear everybody's having fun at the House of Brews. Armed with the full liquor and wine selection, House of Brews houses a large selection of brews. But come on, this place is more than brews. The food takes it to a whole different level. A fresh daily scratch menu serves up a wide variety of favorites leaving customers always satisfied at the House of Brews. Not your average neighborhood bar. Oh, it's so much more. Welcome back to Arians, the sequel here on PewterPirates.com. Now think about the all-star cast of quarterbacks Bruce Arians mentored before he touched down here in Tampa Bay. You had Peyton Manning, you had Ben Roethlisberger, you had Andrew Luck, you had Carson Palmer. At his opening press conference, I asked him for a little perspective regarding those guys and possibly Jameis Winston. You mentioned Jameis. you work worked with so many quarterbacks. I know you've only seen him from afar since he's been in the NFL. Do you compare him 
to anybody that you've worked with? You know? Yeah, I really don't like comparing them because uh, I haven't worked and been in the room with him for an extended period of time yet. And I'm really, really anxious to get that started. Um, I've been very, they're all different, but the great ones have the same, they have grit. I call it grit. It, when, you, <clears throat> when you go out to evaluate them, you can look at their arm strength, you can look at their athletic ability, but the two muscles that you play the position with, your, your brain and your heart, are very hard to evaluate until you get them. And uh, so, yeah, though, by, uh, yeah, Byron had it. Um, ben, Peyton, Andrew Luck, Tim Couch, all the guys that I've had, Carson Palmer, when they get in a huddle, men follow them. And that's what a quarterback is. Arian's not biting on that comparison with Jameis Winston, but interesting perspective on what made all of his previous quarterbacks so great. Well, we have one more segment left here on Arian's The Sequel. We're going to talk to Todd Bowles about the biggest difference between he and the new Bucks head coach. That and more right after this. Now, you want a drinking and dining experience like no other in Tampa Bay? Well, Sea Dog Brewing Company is the place for you. Its Treasure Island location gives its patrons a beautiful waterfront view with six brand new boat slips and more to come. This Sea Dog location has a great selection with local brews all made in clear water and oh, the specials. You have daily happy hour Monday through Friday from 2 to 6. Mug Club Monday features $6 mules. Taco Tuesdays are always popular, but don't pass up the $9.99 fish fry Thursdays. And on the weekends, enjoy a Sea Dog Brewery Sunday brunch by the beach. To so check out Sea Dog Brewery at Treasure Island, 9610 Gulf Boulevard, Treasure Island, Florida, 727-954-7805. Our final segment here on PeterPyrus.com, it's Bruce Arians, the sequel. We talked a lot to Todd Bowles earlier in the show about how much he likes Bruce Arians, but there seems to be one big difference. You know, in his opening press conference, Bruce Arians talked about this Buccaneer team, and he doesn't feel like the turnaround is going to take that long. Well, for Todd Bowles, it was a bit of a different answer. I'm going to leave that up to Bruce. That's where we differ. Uh, <laughs> Bruce kind of talks and I don't, so we, we're, we're a good match that way. I'm going to say we're going to get to work, and obviously we want to go to playoffs and win the Super Bowl, and that's the goal, and that's what we're going to shoot for. But there's a lot of hard work that goes into it, and we're going to roll our sleeves up and get going. Oh, we finally found a difference between Bruce Arians and Todd Bowles. Not many, but their personalities may be one of them. I know everybody here at One Buck Place feels very fortunate to have a head coach and a defensive coordinator with those kind of pedigrees. Well, we covered a lot in Arians, the sequel, but we can cover more in our weekly podcast here on PeterPyrus.com. Check us out. A few extra bucks with myself, along with Buccaneer insider Roy Cummings and our esteemed producer Justin Thomas, every week, including the offseason, on PeterPyrus.com. I'd like to thank our co-title sponsors, House of Brews and Sea Dog Brewing Company. I'm Mike Neighbors. We'll see you again down the road.